it is repetition which makes for perfection. Stomach muscles. Um, I'm going to do a quick breakdown of what the abs should look like. Okay, so this is the, the mass, the center mass of the body. Quickly break down the chest and the stomach muscles would fit somewhere in this range. Okay. Uh, Bamford says, hold well, let me wax first. <laughs> oh, man. Because I'm, I'm nuts. Wait, I said, can you do different angles of the stomach muscles? Yep. I've been working with frontal view a lot. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll hook it up for you. Okay, so this is a rough of uh, the basic body. So what I'm thinking um, a couple years ago, I didn't have this structure in... in 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 uh in my process but after i started to learn 3d animation back in uh 2000 2099 when i first started to learn 3d animation uh so i learned, uh, so around that time i started to see the way how different polygons are wrapped in certain ways so it started to help me figure out in my in my mind as i went back into drawing uh 2d shapes uh, it helped me understand. Oh, okay, this is basically how it how it works. Especially if you're uh, designing or you're working on game res models, which I worked on a lot. So uh, you know, um, uh, but we'll go into that in another another uh, tutorial class. Right now, let's just work on stunt muscles. So this here is just the basic shape of uh, what what I'm throwing down. So. Of the human body. So what I'm thinking as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, okay, I need to basically create something in this range. So this is like the chest area here. This is where you know the muscles come in. And this is my flak jacket. This is what I like to call the flak jacket. So this here, the reason I call it that, because it fits kind of like a little jacket, you know, like this. This is a socket for the arm. So this is basically how it fits. So it kind of looks like a jacket with the spine going back, back, going behind here. Okay. So this is basically what it looks like. Okay. So that's the core of the, the body. Now, what I'm trying to do uh, with that is um, wrap skin around it, okay? So what I'm thinking as I'm wrapping the skin around it, I'm thinking that this body is symmetrical. So it's going to have basically this shape. If it was a muscle, a little bit more of a muscular guy, I would bring out the chest a little bit more, somewhere around here. Okay. So from this point, um, don't ask me about the muscles, the stomach muscles. Is there like a chart? Something maybe you guys can text me the the name of each muscle segment if you guys are in like anatomy jocks out there, which I'm not. I I, I used to know all that stuff back in high school. It's been freaking. 90 years or something <sighs> when I took anatomy class back then. Okay, so basically, all I know is that there's a muscle, it's right here at the top. Okay, there's another group right here, there's another group. This, this last part, you can go ahead and think of it as one large group like this but realistically it's cut in it's cut again so there's actually slice in this one so it actually looks closer to, to this so this is the basic shape of the stomach muscle okay so from here all i'm thinking is um when i'm drawing the stomach muscle i'm going to lower the opacity on this so we can kind of see is as i'm drawing the muscle i'm thinking where can i uh 
the certain parts of the, the body that's closest to me that I'm going to draw less of, and the one that's further back I'm going to draw more of. So, so for the, for, when I say further to me, I mean cl close to me, closer to my eye uh, as a reader from from uh, on the z axis. So I'm thinking, you know, um, in that area, I'm going to draw less of that and more of the ones that's going further back. So obviously, in the gutter, this is where things are going to be further back. So, um, so I'm thinking I'm going to draw a little bit more of that, a little bit more of this right here, um, a little bit more, just slight indications. You don't have to do everything, every single muscle. All you have to do is just indicate uh, certain things. So you're thinking, this is basically what you're thinking as you're drawing, okay? And I like to stress on thinking because um, the parts you don't see, you're not thinking that. You're actually drawing the parts that you're thinking. You're thinking of all the parts. You're drawing little marks to just to fill in the gap and let the reader, you know, um, leave the open areas and let the reader continue to continue that, that gap and close. They'll, they'll close their eyes. Color does a lot of that too. When you actually just leave things open, like this open space right here. Uh, this open space right here, um, you know, um, this dotted line here, that's an open space. So when you leave it open, the color will fill it in for you. So you don't have to draw every single line. So um, so I'm thinking I'm thinking this as I'm drawing. This is the shape I'm thinking of right here. I actually drew his butt a little bit too big, but oh well, got a big old booty. <laughs> All right, so, so I'm thinking this, okay? Now, um, Wallstrom says that dude is cut that has no idea what a cheeseburger tastes like. <laughs> yeah, I know. So basically, uh, the muscles that fall in this area, I typically draw like three of them. Let me erase this line right here. It's unnecessary. You draw about three of them, and then you have another line that goes back here, which kind of, um, you know, s slices the, you know, shows where, 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 where the lats are actually uh, connected. So this is the basic shape that you want to think about when you're drawing muscles. You don't have to draw every, every single thing now. Um, so just keep this in mind as you're going forward, and you, and you won't have, make any, any mistakes. So quickly, I'm going to do another one at a different angle, just so you can kind of get a sense of it. I'll go I'll thicken up this pencil a little bit so we can get a, a better feel of it. So. As I'm drawing, I always start off with like the chest area. Um, what's going on with my voice today? Um, I so start off with the, the chest yeah, area. Uh, <laughs> water, maybe. All right, hold on. I'll do a Marco Rubio in a minute. Um, okay, so here we go. So I always start with the chest area first because once you have the chest, the chest is like the biggest muscle structure that you have. So. Put put it in the right place, and when you put it in the right place, then you can everything else will fall fall into into the place. So, so from here, I know I'm going to draw. This rib cage is going to fall somewhere around here. I know there's a center line here, and I know there are hips. It's going to it's going to be somewhere around here, and the crotch is going to be somewhere around here. So. <clears throat> So I'm, I know this is going to happen, but what I'm actually going to draw is something closer to lower that, so you guys can see. Something closer to closer to this. So now once you have that, now the rest of it is just basically um, figuring out how, how are you going to shade it? Where, where's the light source at? Is the light over here? Uh, is the light behind him over here? Uh, is the light in front of him? Okay, so basically um, I'm going to I'll run through this again. I'll give you guys another five minutes. Okay, so basically um, this is the, 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 the frame of what I'm, how I think when I'm drawing um uh a lot of my shapes and my figures and stuff like that so okay so 
Um, overlaying that, this is the base. This is this is a tighter version of that shape. So um, this one here is just basically um, um, I call this here the flak flak jacket. Um, this flak jacket is it kind of fits just like a, it's like a regular button up type jacket like like this that you would see on like uh, you know any G.I. Joe Captain character or whatever and it has all these pockets and you know gadgets and you know any little all you know a bunch of straps with buckles and stuff like that. So that's basically what 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 it is. So I just call it that for now. So so people can ha have that representation in their head. But it's basically the rib cage um, the human rib cage which uh, which kind of looks like this. This is the cheesy version of uh, the rib cage, and then you have the collarbone over here, and all that other stuff. So, so this that's ba this is the basic shape of it. Okay. Now, from that, what I do is uh, I think of um, the the muscle structure that's going to overlay. It, okay. So I'm going to change the color on that so you guys can see. So this muscle structure is basically this one shape here. Uh, I'll quickly draw it again. So it's basically this shape right here. There's an upper, there's some muscles up here in the top part. Um, there's another one right here. Now this one here, right in this dead center right here, um, that's the belly button. That's what you want to think of where the, the, the belly button is going to land. Then typically what you want to do is there's another group a large group it's down here but you typically draw as one long large group because um, um, it's it's one of the it's what it, it's it's the easy it's the longest shape and typically when people do do, do sit-ups if you look at your own stomach muscles if you have them you typically are not gonna see that that lower part defined the only time you would see it really really defined is if you're like a bodybuilder or you're really into fitness then you'll see this last muscle that's down that's that's uh, that's uh, separated down here. So so just think of it. So for now, just go ahead and think of it like this. And actually, never I would never even draw that. You don't. It's it, absolutely no no reason to draw that last muscle. So just keep this one, two, and three, and that's it. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. Now from that part. Um, you go in and you overlay the muscles on top of that. Okay, you start drawing. Now, the reason the, what I'm now what you do here in this part is you don't have to draw every single part of the muscle. You only draw the parts that's that's furthest away from you. So, so, so just think of it like that. Just think of uh, like you have a round object, and then you have these objects that's sitting on top of it like this but you're not drawing everything you only you, this this part of the muscle over here is going to be closest to you on the z axis um, so it's it's going to be close it's going to be closest to you so you you have no you don't need to draw that part it's actually the smoothest part you don't have to draw it so only think of you're drawing the gutters the part where the two muscles connect and the, and, and and there's a gutter in in, in between and you don't have to draw every single thing. So you only draw indications. That's it. Just think of it as you're just drawing little indications. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else um, from, from that point. Okay. So that's all you have to think about when you're doing this. And you don't, you don't even have to draw a, a line in the middle. You could if you want. Um, but if, if you ever do, I would probably only draw like something like that, and that's it. Don't don't worry about trying to draw it all down. Just th th there's something about letting the the, the reader, the reader's eye, the, their mind's eye, connect the line for you. So if you're drawing like a circle like this, you don't have to draw the whole circle. You just you just draw a little, just small areas, I guess, and just kind of let let the person, let the reader's eye. Um, um, fin finish it, that circle for you. So that's that's basically how you how you're thinking as you're drawing this. So um, 
this is another angle. I was drawing another angle to kind of show you um, basically how I was thinking. So all you need to do when you're doing something like this is just basically draw just draw little areas. You don't have to draw every single muscle. This is really rough, but it's it, but you get the point. You don't have to draw everything. So just just draw one, two, and then sort of draw draw the third one at the bottom. That's basically it. So um, um, that's it. And then from from there on out, from here, anything else, if you if you're going to use anything to to separate or define, is going to come from rendering or shading or something like that. So if it's like a uh, like a big, like a heavy, like a character that has like a lot of a lot of blacks. You want to think of okay, I'm, I'm going to draw like um, you know just just going to draw the absolute dark areas like this. Have you guys ever taken? Um, figure drawing classes and um, if you if you have um, and in your figure drawing classes you you've tried it out with uh, um, pencils try doing it with charcoal those uh, those charcoal chalks um, not the charcoal pencil try try to try to chalk the one that, that's the really fat ones try using that to to um, draw because that that way you will absolutely get uh, a bit, you'll be able to knock out shapes like this really, really fast. Um, I actually have some some pieces that I did, and I I, I think it's on my Instagram. So if you go to my Instagram, it's it's all, all the way back. If there's, there's a way to search in the history, I think I I uploaded it about two two or three years ago. So you have to go back pretty far to actually see something. Um, but I do have some some sketches that I actually did. On there, so this 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 is basically how you want to think of it, or you'd want to think of it like this. Let's say you were, you were uh, actually cross hatching, you know, cross hatch, you know, something like this. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy. Oh my god, horrible. Horrible, what am I doing? Let's do this. It's simple. This, yeah. It's going to keep it. So something like that, you know. Let the render define define the rest of it for you. So that would be the base which you you would throw it out, and you would you would render it something like that, or 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 something like that, or it could be a combination of both. Like so, you have this up here. Then you can go in and you know finish defining it some more. So th this is the basics of of uh, drawing stunt muscles.